Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today our topic of discussion will be inspection of Beechcraft elevator torque arm fittings uh, concerning AD890502, uh, Beechcraft Service Bolton 2242 Revision 1. On that particular AD, uh, Beechcraft uh, is concerned with elevator torque arm fittings that are constructed with magnesium. Uh, they want you to pull those out and make a visual inspection uh, after those magnesium torque arms have been replaced with aluminum torque arms, the repetitive inspection is no longer required. Today I have three different styles of torque arm fittings. Uh, here's a torque arm fitting off of a V-tail Bonanza, a torque arm fitting off of a 33 or 36 series aircraft, and then also your uh, 55 and 58 Baron style aircraft as well. All three of these torque arm fittings are of magnesium construction. I want to show you how to identify these uh, magnesium construction. Also, uh, problem areas to look out for with the cracks. As you can see, all three of these particular torque arm fittings uh, have a dark gray, almost a black uh, finish to them. Uh, indicating that they are magnesium, uh, specifically this uh, A36 torque arm fitting here. You can see the difference between the magnesium uh, construction and the aluminum construction. Magnesium torque arms will all have a casting mark on them. It says Maslow, M-A-Z-L-O, with a uh, ring around that. That will indicate that it is magnesium construction as well. Uh, in the Service Bolton 2242, Beechcraft has you stripping the paint off of the torque arm, adding some allodyne. Uh, if it uh, turns gold, it's aluminum. If it uh, turns black, it's magnesium. Uh, the Maslow uh, marking on the torque arm will uh, be a quick indicator of construction material of the torque arm. One other way of identifying the construction of the torque arm fitting is to weigh the torque arms. Uh, the magnesium torque arm uh, and the aluminum torque arm, we could use a small postal scale or small paint scale. Uh, we use uh, these set in grams for greater accuracy. You will typically have a difference of anywhere from 60 to 80 grams uh, between the magnesium and the aluminum torque arms. Uh, that will equate to approximately three to four ounces difference in weight uh, between the construction. So uh, the aluminum torque arm will definitely have more heft to it than the magnesium torque arm. On this particular torque arm fitting off of a Beechcraft Baron elevator, uh, the corrosion is especially bad. You can see the white pitting areas here. Around the edge, you can actually see missing material, uh, chunks of uh, material actually uh, gone from the edge of the uh, torque arm. The most common area for cracking on these torque arms is from the bolt hole to the edge of the torque arm. There are four screws that fasten the torque arm to the elevator structure. Uh, if any of those fasteners are over torqued, there's a tendency for cracks to start uh, from the bolt hole progressing out to the edge of the torque arm. Another common area for cracks to occur is between these access holes on the torque arm itself, the crack propagating from one hole over to another hole. Once the magnesium torque arm is removed and replaced with an aluminum torque arm, the repetitive inspection is no longer required.